plays a lot international. All right, I'm here um, at the studio dot mess. I'm here with Alex Hubbard right now. I just have a couple of questions for him. How are you doing tonight? Good. How are you doing? Good. All right. Um, first off, very simple question: uh, Who are you, and how would you describe your role in Studio Dot Mess? Well, I'm basically the owner, the founder of Studio Dot Mess Productions, and uh, it's basically a nonprofit organization that we help out local talent, local musicians, in finding placement in the industry, so to speak. Okay, and um. What is that exactly your role? Like, what is there anything you're specifically in charge of, like yourself, or is it like a share of responsibility? Well, we have, you know, multiple people on staff working constantly throughout the night as well, looking for scouting for new locations, looking for people who are going to help us with like record deals and possible venues. Okay. So to speak. There. How would you describe what Studio Dot Mess is to a complete stranger? I'd say we're more like a family in a sense because we all share a part in this. Everybody who is working in this group, even the artists, we all just kind of work together to come up with, you know, amazing music, fun times, great memories, you know, basically what we're doing here. And if I could describe it to a complete stranger, that's what I would say, basically. All right, that's fair enough. Thank you. <clears throat> How did you go about pulling together the resources and the personnel to, to start the studio? Well, basically it started off with exotics. I met him at Hides of Liverpool where we were working and he came up to me because he heard me talking about how my brothers were in the industry and how I wanted to make a difference in the industry and I told him about the studio that my brother started when he was younger so we kinda got together and we, we bullshitted it completely the first time you know did a really crappy recording just for fun and then he goes wow you really have a good thing starting here so basically he helped me gain the courage to actually get this all together and start doing what we're doing. And the equipment and all the money just kind of fell into place by itself. You know, with time, we all threw in a little bit of cash and... Pulling together. Yeah. It sounds, it sounds definitely like you guys all work together and you know, everyone has kind of a place and everybody just kind of helps out the larger goal here. Yep. All right. What drove you towards becoming interested with the local musicians, and can you tell me about the challenges and rewards of working local? Well, what drove me to become more into the local scene and the music scene is because my, uh, my oldest brother is in a band called Earth Crisis, and my other brother, who is younger than him but older than I am, was in the band, um, was in multiple bands actually. Uh, Such Gold is his last one he was been, he's was he been in and uh, I, they've always brought me to shows and always kept me within the scene. Um, basically, what the rewards and the perks I get from using the local scene is that it's more of a homely feeling. Like when I'm with the local musicians, I feel more at home than with people who are of, you know, like national or international. It's just, it, it lacks the intimacy. All right. Do you pitch any of your own creative input into the artists that are working with you? Yes. As a matter of fact, I do. I, um, I've always been an inspiring artist, trying to be at least, and you know, you know, just messing around with guitars and stuff like that, and from watching my friends who are in bands and watching my brothers, you know, struggle through this and everything, I've come up with a couple of, you know, basic facts that people, like a structured, a structured format, basically, for the industry, where, you know, it's, 
it's more of the do's and don'ts and how to perfect your stage performance. And that, I think that's the best advice anybody could give somebody, you know? Right. Now, um, say someone you're working on shows you a song. It, do you almost do you have any editorial say in the song? Say you hear something that you may not feel, you know, would be something you'd like your name on, or is it just complete, you know, artistic freedom, or do you kind of try to, you know, direct them and in, in their actual music? Well, obviously, I don't want to give out, you know, a a bad recording. I don't want anything that's false or anything that's horrible on my label. So when I when I put my name on something, I always say strive for perfection, but feel the song. Because if you can feel it, other people can feel it. If you're not putting any emotion in it and I can't feel it, it's not good. So basically, that's how I judge all the stuff that filters through. Just I don't really have a set guideline. It's just you have to feel it, you know? Right. All right. Um, I want to thank you for your time. I got one last question for you. What is the biggest challenge you, as in Studio Dot Mass as a whole, have going forward right now? Well, the biggest challenge that we're facing is just the fact that we're at that we're at that point where we're breaking through but we haven't completely punched the hole through yet you know nothing's really taken off to the point where we can say that studio mess as a whole is well off enough to be financially stable you know at that point um there's really nothing that This is a hard one. <laughs> it's good. No, you're doing. You're doing good. It is. It's a hard question. Yeah. It, um. It's a good question though, and basically, I think we just need to meet the right person. That one person who's just gonna help us, kind of break that barrier, and if we can meet that person. Within the next couple of months, that's great. If it takes a year or two, that's great as well. You know, helps us build more talent up to show the world. All right. Um. Thank you for your time. Thanks for answering all my questions. Nice a lot. Oh, oh, oh. Shout out to Potter Jane. I see you.